It so delighted the king that he wanted Bach to do more. But Bach was not satisfied until he had gone back to Leipzig and had been able to prepare several compositions on what he considered to be an unusually fine theme. These were all collected together and made into a musical offering. By 1749, at the age of 64, Johann Sebastian Bach was fading fast, and the town council of Leipzig was grimly aware of this. They announced that the post was soon to become vacant and that they would consider candidates for the position. He was further weakened the following year by cataract surgery, twice, ironically, by the same English physician who was to unsuccessfully operate on Handel as well. And then finally the end came, at the age of 65, swiftly with a stroke. in 1750. It took the determination of the composer Felix Mendelssohn to begin the revival of his music almost a century later. You see, after Bach died, it's amazing to realize that his music was simply not played. In the Thomas Kirche, in the Nikolai Kirche, most of the artists and performers at that time shied away from playing this music, probably because they thought it was too difficult, and I suspect it was for them. Bach was known by Mozart, by Beethoven, by some of the great composers in the intervening years. But he was not known by the public at large until Mendelssohn was presented by his family with a beautiful facsimile of the St. Matthew Passion, one of Bach's grandest works. In 1829, exactly 100 years after it had first been performed in Leipzig, Mendelssohn performed this great work in the Zing Academy in Berlin, and it was an enormous success. And it will go on meaning more and more. It's because it, uh, it's concerned, Bach is concerned with the essential uh, concerns of mankind, you know, life and death, sin, uh, God. These are the main, in whichever words people express their concerns, these are the the real concerns of humanity. And any artist that reaches that level of depth will be eternally, I, I, I think, eternally appreciated and more and more. I don't think he ever had the courage to, or the arrogance, I don't know, to imagine that he would be appreciated the way he is. Maybe in the, the depth of his heart he would have been so rewarded had he known how we would love him now. It must be this unity of mind, body, and spirit that was a key for Bach in the enormous outpouring of more than a thousand works that came out of his mind and out of his soul. The name Bach actually came to be thought of in his own time as synonymous with musician, not just because of his own prowess, but because his whole family had been musicians. But actually, the word Bach means brook. 
And it was Beethoven that first said, not brook, but ocean should be his name. 